Turkey was among a few countries which overcame this crisis. In the last days of 2009, we are looking forward with new hope and excitement. Words aimed at calming the feelings of unhappy workers. However, it doesn't seem to be having much effect. Thousands from Turkey's once state-run tobacco firm Tekel, who are now experiencing the consequences of privatization, have held daily protests in the capital for over two weeks. The issue became a contentious one for the government after police clashed with workers and opposition MPs who together felt the effects of pepper spray. Leaders of the workers' union say the long protests are a sign that these people are deeply frustrated. There's an article in the privatization law which provides for workers' salaries to be cut by up to 50 percent. This leaves them with around 276 euros per month, lower than the minimum wage. Also, redundancies don't take the years of service into account. Tekel had been making a loss for a long time. The government said they had no choice but to sell. And it's not just state-run enterprises that are feeling the effect of hard economic times. Workers from private firms say they're also under pressure when it comes to cutting costs. Kenan, who now joins a weekly protest in Istanbul after he was fired from his job of six years, showed me his certificate for exemplary service. Hearing many stories of job losses from his friends, he joined a union to protect his rights. Ironically, it had an adverse effect. I worked for six years. I never had any problems with my work. But when I registered with the union, they fired me and blamed it on my performance. With a family to support, he's desperate to find work. Kenan may now be forced to work for minimum wage, and although the Commission has just announced a hike of 5.2%, bringing the minimum wage in Turkey to 335 euros, it still only provides each earner with an extra daily 45 cents, the price of a sesame bun. Mr. Çelebi says it's not enough. Turkey. Turkey's Statistics Institute puts the poverty line at 369 euros. The minimum wage is now lower than this. A family of four needs a minimum of 1,150 euros a month just to survive. 2010 will be a tough year for the government. They say they are now planning to sign an IMF agreement. But whether this will improve the lives of Turkey's workers remains to be seen. Jody Sabral, Press TV, Istanbul.